Before we get to, to reading the letter that we have penned to uh, His Excellency the President, uh, it would be uh, advisable to make clear that there is nothing mythical or mysterious about this letter. Uh, we actually did uh, drive to State House yesterday in order to deliver the letter. Uh, we were there advised uh, that we should actually take the letter to Harambe House, uh, which we, we duly did, uh, and it was received. So uh, this, uh, this letter is, uh, and the contents uh, have been received, uh, and the view that we take is that actually it is, it is the duty of every right-thinking, civic-minded Kenyan to engage their president, to engage their government. Uh, and it is under that duty that we took it upon ourselves to, uh, to write the letter and to deliver it uh, and to ensure that it was uh, duly received by the authorities. All three of us will, will read the letter. Uh, I shall start um, and it is addressed uh, to His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, State House, Nairobi. Your Excellency, an open letter on the state of the nation and corruption. We write to you as patriotic citizens in good faith to share our deepening concern regarding a number of issues which in our humble view threaten the soul of our beloved nation. We do this cognizant of the fact that your administration has been in office only for nine months and in addition to presiding over the implementation of a new constitutional dispensation and managing the execution of devolution in the face of high expectations by an impatient population. <coughs> Amidst a plethora of challenges, it is our humble opinion that Kenya is not at a crossroads as doomsayers opine, but that we have reached a critical tipping point. Hence, our decision to address Your Excellency on some of these critical issues that affect our nation. The first is corruption. Corruption has always been the cancer in our country's body politic, and numerous are the unresolved scandals and con that continue to haunt our nation. While the ghosts of Goldenberg, Anglo Leasing, Mays, Kazi Kwavijana continue to dance their macabre dance of defiance, over the past few months the country has been seized in thrall of the, of the proposed new standard gauge railway project from Mombasa to Nairobi. No sooner had Your Excellency launched the noble and timely pro project with pomp and circumstance that critical ethical issues were raised from within your administration. For example, <coughs> evidence tabled before the Parliamentary Investment Committee, the PIC, suggests that the company, that the, that the contracted company has questionable credentials and the project cost is unclear <coughs> and inflated. Given the whiff of irregularity, it is our submission <coughs> that it would be prudent to immediately terminate the current process and begin a, a, a transparent process afresh so as to ensure efficiency and value for money. Your Excellency's administration took office on the promise of making a break from what you described as the analog past to embrace a new digital future with zero tolerance for corruption. It is therefore worrying that under your watch, a possible scandal of gigantic proportions is consolidating the widespread perception that every Kenyan president must, as a way of initiation into office, preside over a mega corruption scandal that costs Kenyans dearly. These perceptions are easily tribalized and politicized in a manner that may make governance more difficult to the detriment of the country. We therefore respectfully urge Your Excellency to immediately suspend the project and to make all doc documents germane to the railway contract public for scrutiny. This, in our view, will enhance your stature and spare 
your his and spare you history's indictment. The age-old adage is that a hungry man is an angry man. Indeed, in the last few days, we have seen Kenyans vent their anger in the streets of Mombasa, Meru, Thika, Machakos, Nairobi, and many more will come because of a sense of despondency. Taxation measures designed to raise money without due regard to the already unbearable cost of living will only exacerbate the situation. While we respect and even admire your administration's <clears throat> desire to sustain the country on a rapid growth trajectory, we urge you to keep the public servants on a short leash and to rein in your government officials from engaging in corrupt practices and errant profligacy amid sorrow and want of the majority of the population. In the recent past, we have seen the International Monetary Fund Supremo, whom we respect in town. If history is a good teacher, we learn from her that the long-term health of our nation not only requires, but demands that we win ourselves off the IMF, which has a history of capturing <coughs> government policy and prescribing unpalatable solutions. Insecurity. Each and every Kenyan is mindful of the of the rampant insecurity that continues to plague every corner of our nation. No one, regardless of their station in society, is exempted from the vagaries of the opportunistic criminal, such as theft, carjacking, and robbery, or horrific atrocities, such as that which unfolded at Westgate last September that senior police officers are currently undergoing vetting is positive and indicative of your administration's cognizance of the reforms required in the security sector to improve the capacity of the police to provide security to all Kenyans across the country. We are also sensitive to the fact, however, that the police is one of our disciplined forces. As such, Members are not so much retrenched, like in a private company, but rather demobilized with due dignity. One of the most critical institutions in the country, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, has in recent months been plagued by a number of incidents, ranging from the fire that consumed the International Arrivals Building to an explosion and the discovery of sensitive security equipment in an airport toilet. The dearth of official communication on these matters exacerbates the trepidation of the public and creates an impression not of laxity, but rather inability to secure one of the most important installations on Kenyan soil. With the memory of Westgate so fresh in our minds, it is incumbent upon the relevant organs within your administration to communicate accurate and confirmed information to the public in order to stem speculation. Furthermore, full investigation of such incidents, as well as the responses thereto, must be conducted and reports made available for public scrutiny. Your Excellency, we have written this humble letter not because we have a monopoly of wisdom, but because, like you, we love this country and we have a patri patriotic, moral and constitutional duty to protect her, even with our lives. Yours faithfully, signed by John Githongo, Pielo Lumumba, and Tom Boyer. Thank you.